Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to my third installment of my video unboxing series, one take videos. So today I'm here to talk about a pair of herring shoes, but they are boots. Here's the box. The model is called the Docklands, and I got this in a six and a half F, which is my typical British size. That size usually fits me quite snug. I'm a, uh, I'm really like a seven narrow, but most places don't take narrow, so I've been comfortable my whole life with getting a six and a half uh, a UK size, um, which tends to fit me the way I like it these days. So let's take a look at what's inside. So first things you notice when opening, it's a little shoe cream jar that Heron has branded. Oh, it's sealed, so uh, I don't feel like peeling this back, but it's a neutral cream, which is easy, it goes with everything. I have one boot in a bag, a piece of foam protecting the other boot. This is always good. I know from experience that when shoe trees are there, these things knock around and you can break shines. Like I said, you can make cracks in the shine. The customer sometimes panic, thinks the leather's cracking. It's good to protect as much as possible, especially when they're boots and they fill up the box and especially when they're shoe trees. Let me get the other boot out. Uh, I see tissue paper at the bottom and I see a nice complimentary shoehorn. Now, I will say this because I believe it is the case. I do believe that usually with suede models, there's a suede brush that comes with it. It seems like they might have been overlooked, but I think what happens is they normally don't give shoehorns for boot models because you don't really need a shoehorn for a boot. You need it for a shoe. That's what the little latch on the back of the, uh, the shaft is for. So I think whoever packed it just accidentally swapped the, the freebies, but I don't mind. So let's take a look. The bags by Heron are quite standard, not too thick, unlined, decent bags. They're not the greatest in the world, but you know, at the price you're paying, you don't really deserve the greatest bags in the world either. So they're good for what you're getting. Um, nice big bag, soft, and great color. My favorite color, dark blue. So here's the model that I chose to review for all of you. Something that kind of goes hand in hand with my own personal style. Um, and Heron was so kind enough to oblige to send me that. So this is the Docklands model, one of their kind of country bro boots on a pretty full round last. They have a day night like sole on it. I asked them where these were made. And even though these look extremely British, believe it or not, these are made by Carlos Santos, but a part of the herring line. Yeah. It says herring by Carlos Santos. So I was kind enough to be given a free shoe tree. This normally doesn't come with the shoes, but I do have a code for you guys that's HS tree that you can use to get a free shoe tree inside of your pair of shoes. So you can thank me later for that. But uh, if you do purchase something, remember to use that code to get a free pair of cedarwood shoe trees. Uh, the shoe, you know, I got to say, I've, uh, I'm not going to say that for Portuguese making is my favorite, but Carlos Santos makes a darn clean, good shoe at an immaculate price. I believe they're retailing these for th low 300s, which is insane. That's USD. Um, for a welted boot of this caliber in the low 300s with good suede, I'm quite sure this is probably uh, snuff suede by uh, Charles Stead out of England. And this is looks like Country Calf by Anna <coughs> Not Anna excuse me, by Dupuy. You're getting great, great value for your money here. And that's probably why Herring is one of the most successful online retailers of shoes that there are. They have in a huge catalog of offering. They have crazy good prices. You get nice freebies in your, in your pair. The 
the customer service is amazing. They're great people. Um, they've uh, they've been supporting me on the blog for a lot of years now. So uh, I really like the team behind Herring, and there's you know there's no reason there's no secret to that because that's why they're successful. They're good people. They're honest. They have great reviews about their customer care, and it shows. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a solid boot, and at a little over three hundred. You can't go wrong, you know. When I ask myself, why do people buy anything in department stores that are over three hundred and glued on or Blake stitch when you can get something of this caliber? And I, I think if they're not free shipping, they have very low shipping rates at Herring and ship worldwide and offer returns as well. So you can't try it on, but you can get good size advice. And there's no reason why you should be buying. $300 garbage shoes when you could be getting $300 amazing shoes from retailers like Herring and with the HS tree code for a free shoe tree still of a still of a price let me just break out the other one so we can look at the pair together let me just inspect looks like they're pretty tip top nothing out of the ordinary obviously and I want to make this clear for a lot of people sometimes you see where you have small little bits of suede there might be a little bit of what looks like dirt or whatever and a lot of times that comes down from the brush wheel when they're finishing the shoe they're gonna brush the shoe with the wheel to give a nice gleam to the side there and the wheels are big they're like this thick so imagine that thick versus the small sole. And every now and then you get a little bit of what is most likely wax on the suede, but in reality, it's no big deal. You wear these twice, you're gonna do much worse. So again, when you get in a brand new shoe, okay, judge it, but don't be overly judging it, especially if you're only paying less than 400 for it. So anyway, I can't rave more about Heron. They make, well, they don't make, but they offer great product at a great price with great customer service, great freebies. And again, there's really no wonder why they're so successful. If you haven't heard of them, it's quite strange, but they are a, a British shoe distributor. Uh, they offer a wide range of different brands and then have their house brand that I think are believed by, made by various makers, but a lot of what they sell is the Carlos Sandros because they offer such a great value. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen Herring, check them out. Uh, Google Herring Shoes, and I believe it's herringshoes.co.uk, but Google it and they'll come right up. Great boot, gonna suit me very well for these New York winters. And again, size was spot on for this model. Very true to fit towards other normal UK six and a half British makers. It's labeled as an F, which to some people's uh, mind might be a wide, but it does not fit like a wide. In this case, the F is very much like a standard fit. Anyway, thanks again. Enjoy the boots. HS tree for a free shoe tree on your purchase at Herring Shoes. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.